What's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to a quick one engine WordPress tutorial. This is going to be a response to two questions I got about the portfolio section. One was how to change the icon that displays over the hover here. Um, someone wanted to, to display this play sign instead of the little magnifying glass for the search. And the second thing we're going to do is change the text for the get in touch button inside of the portfolio post itself. Um, I did a tutorial earlier about how to change uh, some of this down here in the footer, but it didn't change the one for the portfolio, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Another thing too, someone asked me why I didn't just change the files inside of the editor in WordPress, and the reason why I don't do that is because I like to keep, um, I like to save the old files just in case I mess something up. I like to pull it off the FTP server, put it on my desktop, make a copy, then make edits and replace it. And just in case something happens where the website is messed up, I can just, I have that copy for me. So that's why I like to do the method that I do. Uh, these two changes are both fairly easy. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is the icon. Now, if you're new to kind of web development, uh, use Chrome and come in and hover over the Thing you want to change and right click and hit inspect element and what that will do is it will tell you um, what the element is and see how it's highlighted it here for me and when I hover over the line of code here it highlights up here to show me that's what it's talking about so I can see here that I have fa dash play dash circle dash zero here which is what we're going to change it to but really help us when I'm trying to do the search inside of the project. I know that the magnifying glass is actually FA-search. So that's what I'm going to search for inside of, the, inside of the PHP file for the portfolio. That's FA for font awesome. And I'm going to leave this uh, website link on the blog, obviously. Links below. But these are the icons that you can use instead of that little search bar. So it depends on what maybe is inside your post or whatever. But you would just come in and find one of these. And then you would go into the, uh, the file here and do a search for FA search, which was the original uh, one engine icon. So what I did was just came into the ET portfolio block PHP file. If you don't know where that is, inside of your uh, FTP server you're going to go one engine plugins page builder blocks ET portfolio drag that onto your desktop open it up in your editor here we are do a search for FA search and it will come up to here and now what I'm going to do is just change this search to whatever icon I wanted from that website and this one was play dash circle dash o so if i come back in play dash circle dash o and then hit save file save and then replace that file on the ftp server it's going to change to that, that icon and that's how that's done the next thing is if you want to change the get in touch button here that's fairly easy as well and it's actually a little misleading you think it would be in the portfolio thing but uh, it's in the functions PHP file and that can be just found in your root folder for the one engine theme you come down to functions pull that onto your desktop open it up in your editor now that I've had that open up in my editor what I'm gonna do is do a search find for uh, touch okay or you can even put get in touch find next and here you go so uh, this is says the get sharing options and button get in touch this is exactly what we're looking for and now what we're gonna do is look for the bit of code where it has the text inside of brackets you don't want to change this title you don't want to change where it says get in touch right here this is code you don't want to change any of that. What you want to do is just change what's uh, being presented in the front, and that can be found right here. In my editor, that's at line 578. It just says get in touch, and you just go ahead and change that to whatever you want. Get at me is what I'm going to choose. I hit save, and then I'd go ahead and replace that file on the, P on the uh, FTP server and refresh, 
and this is what I have now. I've got get at me. That could be a different language. I think that's what the guy wanted to do. He's doing a website in a different language. So uh, that's how that's done. Anyway, I hope that helped you guys. And and of course, hit me up with your questions and stuff, and what I can answer and what I have time to answer, I will answer. Anyway, talk to you later. Peace.